Remember as good as it gets? Hey, 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 hey. Who's got chocolate? Who's got chocolate? Well, is this as bad as it gets? Eddie Murphy's new movie called A Thousand Words. What the hell was that? You and this tree are now connected. Hello? Whoa! When you talk, all the leaves fall off the tree. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, rib. What happens when a tree loses all its leaves? I can die! US critics are scathing, saying Eddie should have said one word to this movie, no. But let's see it before we judge it. No confirmed date yet for when it hits Aussie screens, but it might be time for Eddie to hang up the comedy boots for a while and say yes to some drama instead. OK, what will we see in Iron Man 3? Don't ask Jon Favreau, cos he's not directing it. But we do know there will be multiple villains, and Tony Stark's Iron Man suit will have some enhancements. And the super-duper soldier serum that turns Steve Rogers into Captain America is a part of a deal with nanobots. Oh, and we can also tell you the release date for Iron Man 3 is May 3 in 2013. Though it'd make more sense to have it on March 3. Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum hit the red carpet for the Los Angeles premiere of 21 Jump Street, a movie remake of the 1980s TV series. It was a class reunion of sorts, with original TV cast members Richard Grieco and Holly Robinson Pete in attendance. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie caused a fan frenzy in their adopted home of New Orleans. The power couple was there to attend a fundraising gala for Brad's charity, Make It Right, which helps to rebuild homes that were destroyed by Hurricane Katrina. Earlier, Brad visited the Ninth Ward with New Orleans native Ellen DeGeneres, who also hosted the benefit, while Angelina took three of her kids for some breakfast shopping at Verte Mart. Also spotted in the Big Easy was Harrison Ford, who did some antique shopping in the French Quarter. The actor's been in the city filming his latest movie, Ender's Game. Out in LA, castmates Jason Siegel, Susan Sarandon and Judy Greer made time for fans at the premiere of Jeff Who Lives at Home. Felicity Huffman and William H. Macy were a couple of stars on Hollywood Boulevard. The married couple jointly received their Walk of Fame honour, while pals Vanessa Williams, Marsha Cross and David Mamet looked on. First time I saw Felicity, she was doing a scene for an acting class. She was wearing a silk cream coloured blouse with no bra, and I thought, man, this girl can act. The first time uh, I saw Bill, he was wearing an Izod shirt with a tie, and I thought, man, his wife is gorgeous. Over in the Big Apple, Will Ferrell chatted about his favourite scenes in his new comedy, Casa di Mi Padre. I love the scene in front of the, the pond of the seven tears where we talk about how beautiful it is, and it's the ugliest set you've ever seen. Uh, I enjoy the uh, uh, talking, driving in the truck, where the, the, the footage of the road just is the same over and over again, and talking our, about our views about women and how they're liars and things like that, weird, weird stuff like that. But there, yeah, there's numerous scenes that, that make me laugh. And that's it for Movie Juice News.